Well, greetings, class. Today we're going to talk about the overview of agribusiness to give you kind of a background in agriculture and agribusiness uh, field. If you were to be asked or, or def asked to define agriculture, which you will, uh, many would say farming, and you'd only be 2% right because only 2% deals with the agriculture industry that deals with farming. Sometimes what we forget about and uh, we don't understand that there's many different fields in agriculture. And in agriculture, you have the different sciences that are involved. You have different managements that's involved, the different businesses and technologies used. They're all used or they're all associated with the production of useful products from, from plants, animals, or uh, and related services with, within. So. If you were asked the question to define agriculture and said farming, understand you'd only be 2% right, and you need to have a little bit deeper understanding how you would define agriculture. So let's look at ag or let's look at agribusiness. How would we define agribusiness? Well, agribusiness deals with commercial firms and businesses that have developed uh, or stem from agriculture itself. So, for example, we look at services, for example, and we look at the plant side. Well, we look at plant as a raw material, right? And say this particular item is services from plant, well, we would think about turf management, for example. That would be an idea of, of uh, uh, agribusiness, okay, uh, turf management operation. Uh, in an animal, look at the animal side. Uh, in services, for example, you would think about care services. Uh, it could be training or grooming, and that would be an agribusiness itself. In agribusiness, you look at the combination of many different stems of agriculture. And some agribusiness may have many stems to agriculture, and some may only have one or two. It just depends on what the operation is. Just like in this picture here, you see the many different, uh, just a few different. I mean, there's a lot more than what's there. But there's a, a lot of different stems in agriculture that stems into ag businesses. And take, for example, this one here. This. Uh, as a poinsettia operation where they, they use, uh, uh, they plant poinsettias, they grow poinsettias for the holiday season. Well, they plant in August and they harvest in November and then they're marketed in November, December and then they're over, the season's over. That would be, uh, that would be an ag business operation and it's only one part of it. It'd be in the plant side, they, they're, they're growers and then they would then either uh, market it themselves or market it to uh, a, a company to do that for them and that would be an ag business operation. And so that's, that's an idea of one possible operation. Another kind would be, for example, aquaculture. Aquaculture has become pretty big in the last 10 years. And, for example, this, this here is a tilapia fish, a tilapia breed that's very popular in Arizona uh, because it likes the heat and it grows very fast and it doesn't need a lot of room to grow. And chefs love them because they can be prepared uh, to the taste of what type of food you're eating, if it's Greek or Italian. Uh, you can prepare it. It's a very good fish that way. And you probably, if you take a look, you see tilapia uh, in almost all fo uh, uh, forms, fresh and frozen now in your store or supermarkets. Uh, they're grown in tanks a lot of times, uh, uh, more so inside uh, or in greenhouse settings. A lot of times an operation will do that and will run that year round as long as they can keep the water temperature warm because tilapia doesn't like that. Or, uh, again, the fish operations or aquaculture can be outside too as well, and depending on the environment you have outside, uh, it's another form of, uh, of an ag business. Another part of ag business is the container industry. Container industry, as you know, in agriculture, you need containers to ship the product, and so milk would become the mine and, and the types of uh, containers used for milk. It may be glass, it may be plastic, but this is another idea of an of a ag business that's, uh, that's related, that stem from agriculture. Uh, another one, we're talking about packaging, the different ways in which we package uh, agriculture products. And this is here our food, a food group of packaging. But that gives you an idea of just the packaging involved and the advertisement, the artwork, the, the design of the package, uh, and then what goes in there. And all this is, is an agribusiness operation. Some of you may think about the more traditional way of agriculture. Custom farming is those uh, businesses or ag businesses that uh, really don't own any land, but what they do is loan, uh, own equipment. And here, for example, this custom farming operation is that they have uh, the, the uh, combines to uh, combine wheat or harvest the wheat, 
and they contract with farmers who raise wheat and they come in and they, they, they harvest it for them and then they move on to the next contract. I mean, all they do is provide equipment and, and, and of course, the uh, personnel to run the equipment and to harvest it. Um, sometimes we forget about bakeries. Bakeries is another form of an ag business. Uh, it comes from, of course, wheat is important and made into uh, bread. But now with the uh, popularity of uh, f farmer markets here and of uh, more or less signature places, small places for bread companies, uh, the more and more you find yourself small bakeries now, uh, signature bakeries where uh, they don't have to be a large, large uh, operation. They can be very small because they sell to a, uh, a, a particular group or population for their specialty of bread they make. And so a farmer's market would be a part of that chain now or an agribusiness. The bakery now is a part of agribusiness as well. And we can't forget about animal care. Uh, or the animal part of it either because just like anything else in ag business the animal side even though a lot of times you think of large animals but you also think about smaller animals too as well uh, the pet industry the companion industry uh, those things of that nature and of course those are part of ag business as well and of course here in Arizona too as well we think about the golf industry the golf resorts and you think about of course you have to wor worry about ground keepers uh, the upkeep of it, the maintenance of it, the management of it, the machinery of it, all those things are ag businesses related. And then you know, remember the use of uh, animal and byproducts as well uh, uh, and plant byproducts and into different types of, well, almost all products we have have some kind of form of animal or plant products in them or both. And this is another example of ag businesses that are, are associated with that. And of course, you know, displays, flowers, uh, smaller animals. Uh, this this tank here deals with uh, shrimp raising in inside in, in the smaller areas too, as well. So these are all forms of ag businesses that that stem from agriculture. And this is the end of part one overview of agribusiness. Thanks.